So my name is Fraser Johnson. I'm the farm manager for Blagdon Farming and Hartley Main Farms. We're based in South Northumberland and then we have another farm over on the, on the coast near Blythe. Total farm is about 5,000 acres. We grow uh, wheat. On Blagdon we grow wheat and cover crops and some oilseed rape and rotational grass. And then at Hartley Main Farms it's wheat, oilseed rape, AB15 legume fallows and barley. Uh, we did used to plough some. We used to do a fair bit of winter ploughing before beans. We didn't do much uh, autumn ploughing. Um, for, for winter crops. We looked at more direct drilling systems mainly due to reduction in fuel use, reduction in tractors. Also we're trying to improve the soil health, soil structure and lower our input costs basically. Key benefit is, is reduction in fuel. Uh, our fuel usage has reduced from sort of over 100 litres a hectare to, to somewhere between 50 and 60. We've uh, seen improvements in the soil structure and um, when we can travel on the soil for, for spraying etc. We've also reduced the number of tractors we have, depreciation's reduced. Yeah, so and we've, we've reduced staff numbers as well. Um, so we, we're you know, saving a lot on that as well. Initially we're, we're only the second, second year into this, so yields have sort of plateaued if not slightly dropped but we were expecting that um, but also our input cost has reduced so uh, we, we are hoping that yields will improve soon and, and certainly the crops this year look, look good it was a kind back end for us but we got everything in well and, and we're, we're looking positive for, for harvest. We liked the sumo um, first of all the build quality and then we liked the, the uh, leading tine just to create that little bit of tilth before the, the culture, the um, seeding culture. And yeah, we, we had a couple of demos and we looked at other machines as well, but we were, we were most impressed with the Sumo. I'm not sure we're gonna go fully into regen ag, but certainly reducing fuel costs, improving soil health, soil structure. We're getting a lot more organic matters on the, on the land. It's all a step in the right direction. And we're hoping you know, in the future, we'll start to reduce fertilizer as well. We reduced it a little bit this year and it, the crops seem to have, don't seem to have, you know, it doesn't seem to be a, a bad effect from that so far. It's a big learning curve. We've made quite a few mistakes, um, but it's not uh, stick it in the ground and go drill. You have to assess every field and adjust it. Big issues we've had even this spring is slugs. You've really got to keep an eye on that. Slugs can be a big issue. It's just attention to detail and make sure you're, you're assessing each field and each the, the uh, field conditions. And also you, you've got to be aware of when to stop. It's not the best drill if it gets really wet. Um, and you need to say enough's enough. We've got to we've got to stop now. But in good conditions, um, it's a fantastic drill. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, certainly looking at um, the SFI and another policy. Um, so this drill ticks the boxes for that. Um, we're looking at that, um, but also um, carbon capture and, and you know stuff like that. It's certainly a good a good drill, good machine for that.